Hey guys, it's Amber and I'm getting ready to start on day 25. So what I have here is a picture. We had a potluck at work, so I made some brownies. So I have a picture of that, but it's not a great picture and that's all I want to have. So I'm going to cover it and kind of frame it with a card and on the card will be a little booklet. So on the inside, I'm going to have a picture of myself wearing a little witch hat because we dressed up a little bit. And then next to that will be some journaling on some orange basil cardstock. So right now I basically know everything that I'm going to be doing. Um, it's going to be a really easy flip out. The only thing I honestly don't know yet is where and what my numbers are going to be. Um, I'm not really sure where they're going to go yet. So I'm going to have to figure that out. I was thinking potentially just now that um, I could cut a little half circle here as like a tab and put some numbers on there maybe. So we'll see. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is trim this out. Oh, the other things as well, and then we're going to build that little booklet together. Okay, so just getting my paper trimmed down to seven and a half by nine. This is from Crate Paper's Hey Pumpkin line, which I believe is from 2020, but I could be wrong. Uh, the other side has kids trick or treating, and it's really cute. But this orange really matched my card well, and I loved the stars on it. So I'm just punching the holes out. And I'm creating a hinge for my flip open because it's going to flip to the side. So it's three by two because, or sorry, four by two because my photo is four inches tall. I'm going to fold it in half so it gives me one inch to put adhesive. And I find that that's a great size for stability. So just getting my photo trimmed out. And for some reason, my card is really thin. Like it seems smaller than a normal three by four. So I just have to trim my photo and my journaling card to match it. So I'm also now trimming out my matte sticker paper. I don't love the formatting on this one. It got a little higher, um, so it's a little not, not centered as well as I would love, especially since I had to trim everything a little smaller. And normally I can just print right on basil cardstock, but when it's textured, it doesn't really always print super clearly. So I decided just to go ahead and do the sticker paper while I had it out. And I'm just getting that smoothed down and I'm going to trim off the edges with my nonstick scissors. It's a lot easier than regular scissors because it really does not cling to it. And now I'm going to add the pieces to the hinge. So the journaling is going to go on the inside, right side of the hinge. And then my photo is going to go on the left side facing down. I'm just trimming it to match the top card. So I'm going to lay it flat on top of the journaling and then pull the hinge over it and smooth it down. And then I'm just adding adhesive to the outside and my trick or treat card to the front. These are really simple to do. The easiest thing is you just have to make sure you're paying attention to which direction everything's facing. But once you make a couple, it's really nice and easy to hide. You don't have to use washi tape. So it's just my preferred way of doing it. So you can kind of see I'm a little stuck here. I didn't love the size of the photo. What I should have done is gone with probably like a seven by six, but I ended up just reformatting it to a six by six, left a tiny bit of the white paper as a border, just so it had some definition against the photo, or sorry, against the paper background. And then I'm punching a little spot for my numbers. I intentionally picked a spot on the paper where there was a big gap to place the numbers. I thought I was gonna do white, but I think the black looked better. And I punched it to two inches, but I often find that I need my one and three quarter inch punch because things, it really just is a great size to have. Um, but I don't have them in the same option. I think that one's from Michael's. So just punch it so it was a little bit smaller. And then I'm just going to hear everything down with some Gina K tape. And that will pretty much be the project. I know these last few layouts have been a lot simpler, but I've got to keep them simple so that I can fit 31 pages into one album. So, but I'm still enjoying it, still being creative, trying to create flip outs and flip opens so that I have room for photos and journaling and embellishments everywhere. Um, but um, thanks for sticking with me and we will go all the way to day 31. And I will leave you with a live look here in just a moment of the finished project.
Okay guys, all finished with day 25 here. I realized off camera that for some reason I put day 22. Not sure why that was in my head, but love how it came out. You saw that I enlarged the brownie photo off camera um, to a six by six. It just needed to be more substantial and take up more room, but still nice and flat so that I have plenty of room to put uh, more layouts in this album. So I've got my little flip open here, which came out really cute. Added a little puffy pumpkin here so that when it's pushed down, there's a little bit of a gap there and it's easier to grab since I put the number underneath the photo. But uh, overall, happy with how it came out. I uh, loved including an extra photo there. I was going to do another journaling card or a, uh, like a fun quote card, but that worked out really well. So thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love to ask you to do so. You'll be automatically notified when I post new content. And thank you so much for the support. Have a good day.